In the dense jungles of Nepal and India, a hunter shoots at a tiger and unknowingly turns it into the most deadly predator of all time, seeking revenge on humans. Its reign of terror spans Nepal and India, claiming the lives of 436 innocent individuals. No other animal in history has caused such devastation. This is the horrifying story of the Champawat tiger. It all began in the early 20th century, deep within the Kanchanpur district of western Nepal. A young man, armed with an old muzzle loader and accompanied by a goat, ventured into the jungle. Little did he know that this simple act would set off a chain of events that would haunt the region for years to come. Hours passed and the young man's excitement turned to boredom as the tiger failed to appear. Just as he began to doubt its presence, the majestic Bengal tiger emerged with a grace and power that stunned him. In a moment of pure savagery, the tiger attacked the goat, extinguishing its life with terrifying ease. Witnessing this display of beauty and brutality, the young man hesitated. Shooting the tiger suddenly seemed like an audacious act, akin to assassinating a king rather than merely killing an animal. He observed the tiger's size and noticed a pair of cubs playing nearby. Doubt filled his mind, but a decision had to be made. Taking a deep breath, the young man aimed at the tigress and pulled the trigger. The bullet struck, breaking the tiger's upper and lower canines. Little did he know that this single shot would alter the course of history, transforming the tigress into a relentless monster seeking revenge on humanity. In the following years, the tiger's wrath unfolded with horrifying consequences. The indigenous people of Bee Nepal fell victim to its insatiable hunger. Rustling in the tall grass signaled impending doom as the tiger unleashed its primal savagery killing and devouring with astonishing speed. Ordinarily, Bengal tigers avoid humans, exhibiting a natural fear and preferring to retreat at the sight of man. However, this particular tigress shed its inherent aversion, becoming a daylight predator that stalked villages. With broken canines rendering its usual prey elusive, humans became an easier target. The locals found themselves trapped, their lives at the mercy of this merciless beast. As the death toll rose, the villagers believed they faced multiple tigers, unaware that it was the same vengeful tigress haunting their lives. The Nepalese government, alarmed by the escalating crisis, dispatched the army to deal with the man-eater. But the elusive tigress proved more cunning than any they had encountered, eluding their traps and evading capture. Determined not to be defeated, the Nepalese government devised a final plan. They assembled a massive hunting party consisting of hunters mounted on elephants, volunteers, and soldiers. Their mission is to drive the tigress out of Nepal and into neighboring India. Forming a vast line, the hunters moved through the jungle, creating a wall of noise and chaos. The tigress, overwhelmed by the commotion, fled across the Sharda River, seeking refuge in India. The Nepalese government considered their job done leaving the neighboring country to face the wrath of the man-eater alone. With its newfound territory in India, the tigress continued its rampage, moving swiftly from one village to another, leaving a trail of horror in its wake. It showed no mercy, seizing humans regardless of the time of day and dragging them deep into the unforgiving depths of the jungle. The death toll climbed relentlessly, surpassing 400 lives by 1907. Faced with an unprecedented crisis, the Indian government sought the assistance of Jim Corbett, a renowned marksman and master tracker. Reluctant at first, Jim agreed to help under specific conditions. He demanded the withdrawal of soldiers and hunters pursuing the tigress, ensuring his safety, and he also insisted that the existing bounties on the tigress be rescinded. He had no intention of jeopardizing innocent tigers in his pursuit. Conditions were met, and Jim embarked on his mission. Alongside six skilled Kumoni men, he made his way towards Pali, the village where the tigress had recently struck. The journey was filled with trepidation, as they had no idea of the horrors awaiting them. Upon their arrival in Pali, a sense of desolation enveloped them. The village appeared eerily abandoned, its once lively courtyard empty, and its stone huts devoid of life. The grip of terror had paralyzed the villagers, confining them within the safety of their own homes. Undeterred by the unnerving atmosphere, Jim and his team patrolled Pali's dense forest. When the tigress failed to appear, they surmised it had moved on to the nearby village of Champawat, setting their sights on the new destination they ventured forth. 
Their arrival in Champawat coincided with the Tigris's latest attack. Traces of blood led them to a ravine where they discovered bone fragments, a still warm human leg, and shreds of a victim's clothing. Local volunteers flushed the Tigris the following day, forcing it into the open. Jim Corbett raised his double-barrel black powder rifle and fired three shots. The reign of terror, which had lasted seven long years, came to a resounding end. The man-eater had finally met its match. As news of the Tigris's demise spread, celebrations erupted throughout the villages. However, it became apparent upon closer examination that the Tigris was a mere shadow of its former self. Tattered canines had left it vulnerable, unable to defend its territory against other tigers. Forced to venture into human settlements, it had become a fearsome predator of mankind. The Guinness Book of World Records documented the Champawat Tiger's attacks as the deadliest. Its insatiable appetite claimed the lives of 436 individuals, surpassing any other recorded human or animal killer. It earned the gruesome title of the world's most prolific serial killer, forever etching its name in infamy. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for more wildlife stories and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.